I stopped chasing money and it flowed into my life like water. The number one change that I made in my life in the past few years was one, I switched from being money focused and chasing the bag to being process focused and actually becoming 1% better each day as a person, as a trader, as a friend, in all aspects of my life, right? I was focused on getting better 1% each day. And so when I made that change in my life, it allowed me to one, get rid of the materialistic mindset that I think a lot of Western society has implanted in us um, since a young age is growing up. We're surrounded by ads. We're surrounded by this luxury lifestyle that you see online. But when I made the switch from being money motivated to process motivated, I found that I was way more fulfilled and I just was way more relaxed in general when I was at the charts. And it allowed me to perform much better when I was more relaxed at the charts and not really focused on the monetary outcome of my trades, but really just making good trades, right? And then the money comes as a byproduct of that. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering why you need to stop putting money on a pedestal. So when you actually do put money on a pedestal, right? And you're looking up to the bag and chasing that dollar, right? That is going to lead you to a unfulfilled life, okay? And the reason for that is because the more money you get, the more money you want, it's a never ending void, right? Money can be printed out of thin air. So one, there's no need in chasing it, right? Shift your mindset, shift your outlook, okay? An abundance mindset is what you need to have in trading. And a lot of people, they come into the market with this scarcity mindset and they're trading from a position of scarcity instead of trading from a position of abundance. Trading from a scarcity mindset, that's only gonna manifest itself in the charts, right? The, the very thing that you're afraid of, losing money, that is what is going to happen in the charts, I'm telling you. If you the, the thing that you're most scared of in the market is going to manifest itself in your trading. And so these things, they manifest in your trading, but also you have to remember that money and chasing the bag, that is only going to lead to one, an unfulfilled void because the more money you make, right, the more money you actually want, it's never enough, it's a never ending cycle, you always want more, 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 and so that's going to leave you with a empty void inside, all right? There's not a lot of fulfillment in just chasing money. I've found personally the most fulfillment in helping other people, not only succeed in trading, but helping other people outside the markets, right? Helping my brother, helping my parents, spending time with them, asking what they need, fulfilling their needs, that has been the most fulfilling thing. And that's what allowed me to really wake up with gratitude each morning. And that's why I love trading because you have this outlet, right? You have this source of income, but you also have the freedom, not just the money, but you have the freedom to really go take that trip or to spend time with your kids, whatever it is, you have the freedom in trading to really make an impact in other people's lives, not just the money but with your presence. And so I want you to listen very closely, okay? You do not truly want riches. You want freedom. And trading provides all three forms of freedom. You have financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom. Trading brings in the money. Money is just a tool. You can use it to do whatever you want, right? Money is just a tool. But trading, it gives you that financial freedom it gives you that time freedom, right? And it also gives you that location freedom that most people can never dream of, right? We can do this from anywhere. As long as you have an internet connection or cell service, you can trade from anywhere in the world. And so when I say you don't actually want money, what you truly want is freedom, well, you have to remember the fastest way to not have freedom is by chasing and slaving for money. So I want you to truly ask yourself, why do you want money? Why do you want a lot of money, okay? Is it because you wanna drive nice cars and show off for people who don't actually give a fuck about you? Or is it because you want to make an impact, not just in your life, but in other people's lives, and use it as a tool to buy back your time? And I think for most people, deep down, they don't really just wanna be rich and wear Louis Vuitton, but what they really wanna do is they want to do what they want when they want, with who they want, right? So I think that is what attracts a lot of people to trading, deep down, but they're just 
get caught up in all the money, right? They get caught up in all the monetary things, right? Trying to chase the dollar, get their profits back, whatever it is, they get caught up in that materialistic cycle and they lose sight of what they got into the game for in the first place. It happened to me. I'll be honest, it happened to me. And I think that's what happens to a lot of new traders too. They see all these profits online. They see the Lambos, the marketing gurus. And you gotta remember, when you're online, I said it in a previous video, when you're online, you have to have that in mind. You have to look at all the content online with a filter. I wanna tell you this. There is no point in chasing money because you have to remember, money flows from the people who value it least and it flows into the pockets of the people who value it most. Money flows to the most disciplined, the process focused, and the ones who manage risk. It's important to remember that as traders, our number one priority is capital preservation. All we're trying to do is maximize our returns by one, making good trades, taking A plus setups, but also not taking any stupid setups or doing anything dumb or making mistakes in between those A plus setups, okay? And that is what it's all about. Hitting the target hard and hitting the button hard when your A plus setup appears. And when you don't see anything or you can't really read the market a certain day or there's something that you don't quite see or maybe there's just chop, right? That's when you stay out. And that's when you go fuck off and you go do something else. The market will always be here. Your trading career does not depend on the outcome of a single trading day unless you let it. And so now I want to tell you about some changes that you can make in your life and how to actually let money flow to you instead of you chasing it. Because we all know the more you chase something, right? The more you chase something, the further it runs away from you and the harder it is to obtain. And by chasing something, you subconsciously are already putting it up on a pedestal, right? You're saying that's greater than I am. I need to go chase that. And so by doing that, you're subconsciously putting materialistic things, money, whatever it is you're in here for and got distracted by on a pedestal and you're not focused on the true purpose or the true essence of what trading is, right? We're here for freedom. We're here for financial time and location freedom to allow us to make an impact in other people's lives. So now I wanna share with you some changes that you can make in your life and the first one being stop focusing on the monetary outcome of your trades and instead focus on the process. Focus on becoming a good risk manager, not the money. You should be process focused and the money will naturally follow. And so I want you to stop measuring success by one, the money, but two, looking outward and seeing what everyone else is doing and comparing yourself to other people. Instead, look inward and look backwards, look behind you and say, was I better than I was yesterday? Remember, the goal is to be 1% better than you were yesterday, right? 1% better a day, that's gonna get you to elevate not only your mindset, but your trading as well. It's important to remember that money is a byproduct of skill and that money is just a tool, right? If you have the skills, if you have the skill set of being a good trader, taking A plus setups, managing your risk, you're doing everything right, that money is going to flow into your life because it, it's impossible not to, right? You're doing all the right things, you're managing risk, you're not taking dumb setups, you're limiting the losses and you're hammering the A plus setups when they present themselves, there's no way the money's not gonna come to you, okay? It's just a byproduct of the skill. And so what a lot of people do is they wanna think, oh, I can, the more trades I take, the more money I'm gonna make, but really it's the opposite. It's like the fewer trades you take that are high quality and you don't take any of the dumb ones in between, that's when the money flows, right? Capital preservation. One way to think about money is, if you wanna reframe it, money is just the time and energy of other people. Because think about it, most people are trading time for money, right? They go to a job, they have a job, they go to their nine to five, and they sit down, they work, and in exchange for their time, right, they're getting a paycheck. So money really is just the time and energy of other people. So if you can respect that, and you take and you treat your money as is, right, as the time and energy that you've put in to earn it, then you'll be way more conservative in your approach and you will limit your trades, right? Less is more in trading. You have to remember that money is just a tool and that at the end of the day, it's all in how you use it, right? Are you gonna use the money that you earn to buy back your freedom and buy back your time? Or are you gonna go take that money, right? And are you gonna go throw it away 
in some Gucci, Louis Vuitton flip-flops, some Louis bags to show off on the internet to strangers that don't actually care about you. If there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's to not destroy yourself for a job that will replace you within a week and to not lose yourself trying to impress people that won't remember you in a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.